It's that time again! This time we've got Giga for a little bit. It wasn't too long, I think it was about a minute or something, and I think, at least to me, the animations look like the legacy ones. Um, I didn't play Giga too much at all, so I couldn't say for sure, but to me, at least, they look like the legacy ones. Um, even so, I let them play out because, for all I know, it's different model, different whatever. I mean, it looks the same to me, but again, I didn't really play Giga, so I can't really say for sure. I don't know! Um, but it's here for those who did play Giga and who are intimately familiar with all of the Giga movements and whatnot. You'll be able to tell, hey, this is different, or this isn't right, or whatever else. Um, he could have been showcasing old animations, don't know, but eh, I let it play out anyway. After that, we are on to the Dillo attack directions, which the first one, I missed a uh, good chunk of it. I think I only caught near the end, so I just highlighted the final product and called it a day. Ignored the immense amount of cringe, as is common when it, Brian does anything at all, and went about my merry way. The next one, I caught most of it. However, because it was just kind of modifying what was already there, I again just gave the final product, called it a day, that was that. Um, there wasn't a whole lot going on by the time I got there, aside from slight tweaks. And many, many minutes of mild alterations, just it doesn't make sense to post that. So I just was like, yeah, here's the highlights. If there's anything different, there you go. But I didn't really see much different from the two. So, yeah, it's there. Thoughts on those two? It was there, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Um, the first part of the next one is charts. For those who like stats, here you go. I let this play out in real time. It's just numbers. And I don't feel like redoing the prior audio that had the dog barking in the background for a few moments, so all oh well. Say hello to Hector, that was him. I guess someone must have come two inches closer to the house than he wanted. But anyway, that aside, uh, just numbers on that one. Uh, I cut a little bit. You can pause if you really want to see everything there, but it went on for a decent amount of time, and I don't need it dragging, so there we go. <sighs> Moving on to the feetsies. We got a lot of that in here because this is a locomotion stream. Um, it seems they're changing the way Dillo walks around. I didn't really notice anything wrong with how Dillo moved in Legacy, but then again I haven't played Legacy in about two years? two, three years, something like that. It's been a really long time. Um, leaning to two. But anyway, and I think Dilla was one of the last things I played, but again, uh, it's been a while, so I don't remember. So I guess maybe it's for the best, and it doesn't seem it takes him very long to do locomotion stuff. Um, I did find it interesting to see how he did it here, though, how he, like, mirrored how he was adjusting the toes and everything, so they move at the same time. But after that, it's like he played one animation on one leg and the other on the other leg and just had them swap out. At least that's what it looked like when I was watching it. I found that really interesting, and that's a clever way of doing that, too. I never thought about something like that. I was like, oh man, you're gonna have to do each leg and you're gonna have to make it somehow look like it, you know, belongs that way, you know? That it looks as if each one is actually moving in tandem, rather than, you know, just mirroring the animation like a normal friggin' person would think of when doing it. I just... <laughs> anyway, so that was fascinating to see. Somehow I would missed that every other time I've seen these streams and it just either didn't click or I would miss that part because I'd come in too late. I think I made this one pretty early on, so I was able to catch it this time. Hooray! Most of after that was a lot of just minor adjustments to how the back moves, a lot of the chart things that you'll see pop up every now and again, which I'll include a little bit of, but mostly you don't see what's going on. So I like to cut a good portion of that because the changes are so subtle, it looks like you're looking at a still screen minus some squiggles for like a half an hour and I just, I'm not gonna do that. I need to cut stuff anyway for time, you know? I don't want these to drag on. Contrary to popular belief, I try to get these as short as I possibly can because it's less rendering for me. I have to do these in pieces when I render them, and, um, 
Yeah, Vegas likes to decide, you know what, I'm gonna just stop here and sit and stall, so then I have to render it again. Um, so to try to kind of stop that from happening, I render it in little pieces, and then I'll combine all the pieces. Um, so if something's ever strangely out of order, for whatever reason, uh, that would be why. I number them and everything, and I try to keep everything, you know, in order. But it's entirely possible someday I'll just, whoops, switch two of them around or whatever. Or put two in the same one or something like that, I don't know. Um, but so far I don't think I've had that happen. I've had some audio stuttering because I'd forget to jump a frame ahead or whatever, but eh, I don't think it's been anything major, so I just leave it because at that point I'm like, I just want it out, I want it done, I want to move on. Um, but enough of that and back to the Dillo. At this point the walk should be, or well, run actually, should be just about done. But um, watching it in progress, the way the arms and the hips would move, it made me think of, um, there was a Dark Souls meme eons ago with some of the dudes walking around in incredibly exaggerated fashion with their arms and legs swinging around. Um, it was very popular, so I'm sure most of you will know what I'm talking about, especially when the Dillo's facing forward and moving. Um, I'd put it here, but uh, honestly, I'm too lazy to go find it. And the GIF I have would break, so I'd have to convert it into a video file, and I just don't feel like it. So I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, or if not, Dark Souls Silly Walk would probably get it for you. Don't know. It's been eons since I've looked it up. Um, but my friend will send me the GIF on occasion, and it, it reminds me of that, honestly. That aside, thoughts overall. Um, it was a locomotion stream, but because I caught it quickly, I was at least able to catch a decent amount of the um, progression of going from a still model all the way to something that's running around. I imagine we're going to start seeing the other parts of the locomotion um, in the rest of the streams, and those might go to highlight reel, similarly to the ones at the front of this one. It just depends on what all goes on, how much energy I have, how soon I catch the stream. Because this one I got very, very lucky, and I think I caught most of it. Uh, not all of it, but I'm pretty sure I got most. Um, there have been a few where I'd be in the middle of trying to get back to sleep, and I'd check what time it is on my phone, and I'd see the thing pop up, and I'd be like, oh. Here we go again. Um, and then I'd get the full stream on those, but generally speaking I'll catch the last few hours depending on what time he does it, depending on what time I end up waking up. Um, it's a lot of RNG, but you know, it is what it is. Final product, at least from what we have right now. Um, it was sped up on his end, not mine, so it's gonna be moving fast, but I am going to assume it's because it's a run. Uh, don't know, but the final product what we have so far, it, it looks fine. Um, the way his shoulders and hips move are a little bit funky, and I'm never a fan of the head moving very much because it just it rattles your little brain around and that would be very uncomfortable. And most predators, when they're moving, you'll notice their heads stay incredibly still because that's how they're tracking their prey. Um, so if your head's moving all over the place, it's gonna be very difficult to see what's going on. Um, so yeah, I've never liked seeing that, but it is what it is. I guess it's not as exaggerated as it could be in this one. So yeah, overall, I mean, it does what it needs to, it looks fine enough, I suppose. And this could, again, be expanded on a little bit later, or this isn't the final, final product. But this is the last of what we saw during that stream of that animation, so I mean, that's the final product for what we've got right now. It looks fine enough, I suppose. Um, you guys would probably be able to pick out a bunch more that's wrong with it. Um, I'm not looking too close. I don't really care all that much. Uh, there's only a few things that, if they stick out to me very blaringly, that I'll complain about. And I'm sure you guys have picked up on that by now because I'll complain for quite a while. Um, but, eh, this one, good enough. Seems fine. Overall stream was nice because, again, I caught it early and was able to get the progression. Um, there's a lot I cut out, as usual. Uh, when I sped up the footage, I think it went to about 
30 some odd minutes? 40? Uh, and I was able to chop most of that down because this section was about 8-ish eh, minutes? 9? Something like that. So a good amount cut for the greater good. A lot of it, again, is the usual small adjustments, the stuff in the squiggle menu, he replays the animation several times in order to look it over, all that sort of stuff. You guys know the drill by now. From what I've seen, at least as of recording this, there hasn't been much activity in the Discord today, so I probably won't have any Discord videos today. Day? Well, that is the 18th. Um, by the time this is up, it's probably going to be like the 19th or something, but as of right now, it's the 18th, and I don't think there'll be anything for today. Tomorrow could be another story, don't know. Um, but I do see the, uh, the branches have been pretty active as of today. There's one that just updated, or all three of them, I should say, updated just uh, an hour ago, and this stress test build updated 19 minutes ago. <laughs> Um, so that's definitely interesting. I wonder if they'll be lifting the embargo on that stuff soon. Um, as I've said before, I don't take place, er, I don't take part in the stress tests. It's not something I have interest or time in doing. Well, time or interest in doing. Even with Serato involved, it's just not high on my priority list, and you'd have to download stuff over and over again. Uh, it's... It's too much of a hassle. I'll wait until it's out for everyone to see and everyone else is doing stuff on it. And then I'll definitely play it, see how it is. Um, that'll be the first time I play this game since before the Night Vision update, actually. Um, I played the Utah Raptor quite some time ago, and that was the last time I played. Uh, so this one will introduce two dinos that I'm interested in. So I definitely want to poke around, see what it's like for them. I haven't interacted with the new diet stuff or anything of that nature yet either, so I'm definitely curious to see what that's like. I've seen little bits and pieces of it. Frankly, I don't look around for gameplay or anything like that, it's just not interesting. But I'll hear bits and pieces in the Discord and see dev answers and whatnot, so I've seen little bits of how it works, but I haven't actually interacted with it myself just yet. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get to that soon. I guess it depends on how soon TM they update. But I'll post something then. I'll probably have a friend observe everything and we can squabble back and forth about maybe or maybe not killing the dino I have running around at the time. Um, I've tried live stream before uh, for the aisle through OBS and whatnot, um, but it would hang very badly and just lag so much I couldn't actually play the game. Um, because I wanted to stream it on YouTube, because of course, but um, it wouldn't work out. It it would break, basically. Which is funny, because Ark I could stream just fine, and yet the Isle I couldn't, so that was, um, interesting. Uh, but I'm gonna try it through Discord and see how that goes, and I'll have her observe from there. I'm hoping it's less demanding. Maybe it's less channels you have to go through, so to speak. I don't know. That and you don't have to worry about quality quite as much, because with YouTube, you, uh, I, I wouldn't want to record Pixel Hell because that's stupid. No one's going to want to watch that. Um, however, if it's a friend through Discord, sometimes Discord's uh, quality will adjust. And so it's possible it might work fine through there. So I'll have to see how that goes. Um, but regardless, I'll probably have her hanging around because it's just easier. And it's more fun. She doesn't own the game, so she wouldn't be playing along with me, but... She'll be there in spirit. That's how we do a lot of our stuff every now and again. When it's a single player game, like one of my friends is playing the new Zelda game, um, she'll stream it for us and we'll just hang around and chat and tell her to make the worst possible decisions imaginable. Or at least that's what I do and my other friend's like, no, you're going to die. And I'm like, no, you're, you're, you're going to be fine. What are you talking about? And we'll go back and forth about that. And then she might or might not die. We'll see. We help her with puzzles and stuff too if she needs it, and all that other fun stuff. You know, the typical Zelda things. And then there's Monster Hunter Rise, which I still have not actually played myself yet, but I've been watching my friend play through. Ah, the goods. Uh, she makes it look so easy. 
Um, like, she says she's not the greatest at Rise, and I'm like, you're doing amazing, you've only completely, you know, failed a mission, like, what is it, twice, three times, and she's almost done with Sunbreak, I think. Um, whatever the anomaly mission things are, I think that was a Sunbreak thing. She's almost getting through those. Uh, so she's gotten pretty far, and it's been usually a series of unfortunate events that would happen, rather than something that she actually did. But for me, I'm like, oh boy, I don't know how the controls are going to work because I know the controls are going to be so janky. Um, but she played World and she's played other Monster Hunter games. So she knows more or less how it works. And so she was able to get used to the controls pretty quick and then go from there. But for me, um, it takes me a while to get used to controls because I'm not that good at it. And, uh... Yeah, with Monster Hunter especially, because it's a trashy port, uh, you're gonna get the most insane keybinds imaginable, and I fully expect to die quite often because I can't get the buttons right or I've forgotten what combination it is. Uh, stuff like that. So, looking forward to it, kind of, sort of, but I haven't touched it yet. I've been going over stories a little bit more instead because it's quicker and easy, you can stop at any point, um, which if something goes on, I need to be able to just stop and pause for a moment. But I've gone on long enough, I think. So have a great day, night, whatever time this ends up being posted, you see it, whatever. And goodbye! Thank you.